you think about recycling clothes? I think that's amazing. Out with the old and in with the new, the world of fast fashion has you covered on both fronts. There's a new bin in town and the message is clear. Don't throw old clothes in the garbage, dump them here. Drop off your old clothes and get a coupon to save money when you buy new ones. But it may be working too well. A team at CBC's Marketplace discovered efforts to recycle donated clothes are often frustrated by fabrics that don't mix well together in recycled products or programs that can't keep up with the tons of clothes being donated. The last year or two years, probably a 15 to 20 percent growth in the overall volume of textiles that are coming in. What charities can't sell or give away is often sold by the ton to buyers in the developing world. Even there, much of last year's fashion is filling this year's landfills. Your textile waste is an environmental issue. Textile waste and landfills is one of the fastest growing categories of waste. Worse than that, some of it is contributing to another form of pollution. Yeah, we burn them. And it is a loss to us because we have already bought them. The CBC's Tiana Grundig worked on this story. Welcome back to the program. Yeah, nice to see you. So you guys looked into how much is actually being recycled. Mm. So what did you find? It's really hard to recycle clothes. So most clothing now with the rise of fast fashion is these blended fabrics. They're, they're, they're polyester, cotton, elastane all together. And it's really hard to break those down and turn them into new fibers. So 30% might be turned into insulation, painting cloths, rags, things like that. But ultimately less than 1% of recycled clothes gets turned into new clothes. That's, I mean, that's Nothing, right? Yeah. That's a rounding error. Yeah. I, I think people are going to be shocked to know it's so Less little. than 1%, yeah. You guys actually had a, a great way, I think, of illustrating just how much we're donating, which is part of the problem, mm -hmm. too. So what, where is this and what does it represent? So this is a, a Salvation Army facility in and around Toronto. So this is one week of clothes that Canadians don't want. So this is stuff that didn't sell. 200,000 pounds of textile waste in one location in and around Toronto, there's nine locations like this across so Canada. So one place, one place, one week, one company, one you know, one charitable organization. And this is the stuff they couldn't sell. And this is the stuff they couldn't sell. So people are are donating clothes. I mean, the real the reality is that 85 percent of clothes still end up in landfill. So people now donate, which is great, but they're donating it, and there's still all of these clothes that nobody wants. There is uh, there's too many clothes in the world. Right there's a, there's this. There's, so there are not people running around without clothes that we are helping out. No, in the reality in, is in reality is that there are more unwanted clothes than there are needy people. Uh, there's a, you know there's this term the clothing deficit myth, and what that means is you know we think that we're donating and it's going to needy people, but there's just too many clothes in the world. There aren't enough, just too many clothes for for the amount of people that are out there. Wow. Uh, there's this term in the story that you guys refer to, green washing. Right. What does that mean? So it's when you know a company gives you these these a little uh, sustainability uh, initiative that seems like you're doing good, so you feel good. And and for example, when they have the donation bins in the stores, you dip, you donate your textiles, anything, and you get ten fifty ten percent off your next uh, your next item. So you feel good when you buy and you donate. And they're doing something. And they're doing something. A lot of stores so, aren't. So it's good because, you know, they're they're putting a face to it. They're doing the sustainability measure. And this term fast fashion, not everyone might be familiar with it, but right. this notion that, you know, we're not buying clothes to last anymore. No. We're buying them because we want it right now for this month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, people wear clothes an average of six times now before they get rid of it. We're buying 400% more clothes now than 25 years ago because it's so cheap, because of the rise of 400%? these. 400%? 400%. Because of these, you know, fast fashion uh, companies. Like we've got the H&M, the Forever 21, there's Zara, there's all of these companies that are selling so really. What, so what's the remedy to this problem? Stop buying clothes now. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you're talking yes, to, right? I know. So stop buying so trendy. Much. Stop buying so much for yeah. sure. But but we are part of the problem, right? So we should buy clothes that are good quality, that last longer, reuse them. I bought this in a thrift store in Vancouver 20 years ago, and I 
It's you know, cute. it's it's <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but repair your clothes. Uh, try to try to extend the life of one garment for as long as you possibly can. Do clothing swaps. We could do a clothing swap at CBC. Anything to extend the life of those garments and reuse them, and and stop buying new ones and putting them into the to the pile. The impact is clear. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you.